morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'm here at Sioka Kia in Ewing, New Jersey, today to take a look at a 2022 Kia Forte LXS. Now, some of you may think, well, Mike, you've done the GT line and two Forte GTs. Why the LXS? Well, this is my thinking. Their gas prices are way up nationwide. A lot of people are looking to get out of their gas guzzling cars and get into something that's going to maximize their MPGs, be more fuel efficient. And if you don't need an SUV and a four-door sedan will work for you, I think this is something you should put on your shopping list for a test drive in order to get those maximized, those MPGs without having to shell out extra money for a hybrid or shell out even more money for a full electric vehicle. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at this Forte LXS. Kia badge right up top. You got your Tiger Nose grill in flat black. Lower portion of the grill functional in flat black. You have regular projector beam headlights and daytime running lights and they are fake side air curtains on either side. Um, but overall, a nice look on the front of the LXS. Wheel and tire setup on this LXS. We have a 16 inch wheel with silver and gloss black highlights. We have 205 55 series side wall, uh, all season tires, all four corners, standard rotors and standard brake calipers. Viewing the side view of the car as a whole, this is steel gray paint, right? We have our blacked out window trim around the windows up and down, which I think makes it look pretty, pretty cool rather than the silver, right? I like the, the body line along the bottom that kicks up towards the rear, uh, rear fender haunch, which I think looks cool, but overall, a nice design on the Forte. As we move in closer, the LXS, you get the color match side view mirrors. Your directionals are in here. We're color matched on the front and rear door. And we have a left side fuel filler cap. Up top, we have a gloss black shark fin antenna. And on this particular car, there is no sunroof. All right, back end of the car, we have the Kia badge up here, a little kick up on the deck lid, which is nice. We have this fake venting in the back here. I wish they would just smooth that out. And you have your turn signals here in the bottom left and bottom right of the car with the Forte badge over on the left side. All right, engine time here. What we're looking at is a two liter naturally aspirated four cylinder engine made it to a CVT transmission, 147 horsepower, but the real winner are the MPGs, 29 in the city, 39 on the highway, 33 combined. Minimum octane rating is 87, which means you can run this on regular unleaded gas. All right, we are in the Forte LXS. And before we get started with the interior review, Mike, how much does this car cost? Well, as this, as optioned, the MSRP on this particular Forte LXS is $21,445. Let's check out the interior. Starting with the foot box, we have a large dead pedal, rubber, rubberized uh, brake and accelerator. You do have the all season floor mats in here. We have manual assist for the driver and passenger on the seats. And then we have this black cloth with white cross stitch. Which is, which is nice and nice and comfortable. All right, down here you have your uh, lever to open up the trunk and to open up the fuel filler door. Door panel, hard black plastic up top. We have this silver finish around the door handle, which is nice to, uh, for fingerprints. Flat black along the switch gear and a semi-soft armrest. Moving over to the dash, Again, we have hard black plastic up here, hard black plastic, a little silver trim to break up all the black, and then in your glove box, nice and large. All right, moving to the infotainment system, we have the 8-inch Kia infotainment system in this car. 
wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, no nav. So if you need navigation, you can do it through your phone. You have you obviously have the ability to hit the media button here and go right to hook up your phone with Bluetooth, to play a music from a USB. Here's your Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as well. You can move to setup and then you can go ahead and adjust the sounds of where that you want the speakers and whatnot back to home and then you're back to your radio a nice little system i do like the fact that apple carplay and android auto are wireless in kia's eight inch uh, infotainment system what i find curious is that when you move up to the 10.25 inch apple carplay and android auto become wired which seems curious to me Moving on down, we have our four ways. We have two heat and air vents. We have our air conditioning and heat. And we have our rear defrost here. Down below, we have a 12 volt, two 12 volts, and a USB for connectivity. Nice snack tray. Here's our shifter to go through this CVT transmission. We have our drive modes here which is gonna get you normal, sport, and smart are your three choices. We have two cup holders, an old fashioned emergency brake, a very hard center armrest, and if you open that up, you have some nice storage, but that is about it. All right, putting it into reverse, take a look at the backup camera. Nice, clear backup camera with trajectory. Looks good. The Kia key fob, here it is. We have our detonator style key fob, lock, unlock, open up the trunk, panic button. The base model LXS does not have remote start and there's no push button start. It's the old fashioned push this button and the key comes out and you put the key into the ignition barrel in the driving steering column. All right, here's your uh, Kia steering wheel. No leather wrap on the steering wheel. This is soft touch material here. We have our Kia badge in the center. Nothing much going on around the horn button. We do have some silver trim down the bottom, which is a nice touch. On the left, we have our controls for our telephone and voice commands. On the right is the controls for your safety suite, um, such as your lane keep assist and those kinds of things that do come with this car, which is a nice touch. On the stocks here, you have your stock here for your headlights. And then on the other stock are your wipers. As we move to the dash, as you can see, we have analog gauges for your speedometer and tachometer, as well as fuel level and coolant temperature. In the middle, we have a four inch display for your other driver settings. All right, back seat time in the LXS. And again, in typical Kia fashion, we have plenty of headroom in the back. This seat is set for my driving position. Plenty of leg room, plenty of headroom at five foot 11. No issues with the room. Hard plastic on the back door. We have that same trim here on around the door handle and flat black along the switch gear. The same cloth seating up front we have in the back. All right, rear command center. Well, as you can see, there is no rear command center. There are no heat and air vents in the back seat. There is no connectivity in the back. Um, LXS model, I can understand no connectivity, but I would like to see some heat and air vents here in the back at least, because it's gonna get a little steamy back here in the summer. As we move to the rear armrest, as you can see, there is no rear armrest. So we need to have a, a rear armrest here. Um, again, I know this is an LXS, but come on, Kia, give me an armrest with a couple of cup holders because there's no cup holders back here except for these little things down in the doors, and that's it. So I would like to see a couple of air vents and a center, center armrest with a couple of cup holders. I don't think that's too much to ask, even at a $21,000 price. Once we get the trunk open, you're greeted with a very large for its class 15.3 cubic inch of space, which is plenty to fit some uh, suitcases for a weekend trip. We open this up and we do have uh, some tools, 
but unfortunately we do not have a spare tire and this does also have the, the carpeted floor mats and the wheel locks as you can see way up there and then we have these pull levers to to release the back seats you pull these out that releases the seats and now we should be able to come back here and pull the seats down and now when we take a look we have much more room for even larger objects so if you need to make that run to Costco or to Home Depot or Lowe's and you need to fit larger objects in here this is a 60 40 split in the back the seats go down and and you got plenty of room for those larger items and that's another thing I like about the Forte in general it's got plenty of storage space for a small sedan all right we're out here driving the Forte LXS and you know we've driven a bunch of these on the channel and they drive well um, this particular one has the fuel efficient drive line the inline excuse me the naturally aspirated four cylinder with the CVT transmission surprisingly the CVT is quiet than I expected in a $21,000 car so Kia has done some upgrades to the CVT to quiet it down a little bit even though on acceleration it does get a little buzzy we do have simulated gears in the uh, CVT and you can also shift through the simulated gears manually by moving your uh, shift uh, lever here in the center console to the left and then you can go up and down the gears manually if you choose my guess is with this car most people are going to leave it in fully automatic but for this drive we're in fully automatic and we're in normal mode to maximize our mpgs now this is why i think folks that are looking for a more fuel efficient car with today's gas prices should put this on their list this car has a 14 gallon gas tank if you drive the car normally your combined mileage is re estimate estimated is by the federal government is 33 miles per gallon at a 14 gallon gas tank that's 462 miles for a tank of fuel which is you know terrific um, as far as range goes obviously if you have to fill it up completely from all 14 gallons and you're looking at um, oh, we got an accident here and you're looking at all 14 gallons and now now you're looking at a $70 fill up but most people probably are going to fill up at about a quarter tank so it's going to be less than that but compared to your SUVs now that are costing folks 90 100 110 120 dollars to fill up this is with today's gas prices pretty economical and the range 462 miles to the tank is excellent suspension is well damped these uh, sidewalls on this car soak up the bumps really really well there are no issues steering is very direct even though there's not a lot of feedback coming through the steering wheel you point the car where you want it to go and it goes there's really no play in the steering wheel I have no problem accessing the information on my head unit screen or the heat and air controls or my gear shift everything is easily accessible right if I have my phone phone plugged in I can be listening to my Apple CarPlay or Android Auto and uh, things are, are are going good I got my directions up on my Apple CarPlay it's all wireless don't have to plug it in but I do have a USB here if I do need to plug it in and charge it while I'm on the road, which is nice, and two 12 volts. So if a passenger of mine has to plug their uh, their uh, phone in and uh, and they have an adapter, then uh, no problem, they can charge up as well. 
Uh, so for $21,000 and change, $21,445 I am, as I mentioned, this is a really nice little package. And if you're looking to ditch that gas guzzler and a sedan is going to be enough room for you, this is something that you should put on your list. And that's really why we're doing the video on the LXS today. I've had people comment in my previous videos, geez, you know, I got a big SUV, I want to get rid of it, I need something more fuel efficient. Um, here's an option, and you don't have to fork out additional money for your hybrid technology or for your fully electric technology to save money on gas. This car also has the LXS technology package, so you're getting all the safety technology as well. The blind spot monitoring, the lane keep assist, the tra cross traffic alert when you're backing up, right, highway uh, road sign, speed limit recognition software. So you have all that safety in a, in, in a, uh, in a car that's priced very, very competitively for the segment, which I think is another plus for this particular car, along with the, the, the uh, big time cargo room in the trunk and being able to fold those rear seats flat to maximize space. Um, it does a really good job when it comes to uh, those items. Uh, and the fact that I can drive this around town and just, you know, get where I need to be grocery shopping, you know, taking the kids around to activities they need to go to, commuting to and from work. You know, it's not going to break the bank when it comes to, to filling it up. And this car comes with Kia's industry-leading five-year, 60,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty, which is another good uh, reason to put this on your list. So, I wanted to thank all of you for watching today. I know this is in a very exciting drive. We saved those exciting drives from when we reviewed the Forte GT uh, with the seven-speed DCT and also the manual. I'm, I'll put a link to those reviews uh, in uh, the uh, the description for this one. And uh, I want to thank all of you for watching today. If you enjoyed this. Uh, review of the Forte LXS, please give the video a like. Please also consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. Have a great weekend, everybody. See you on the rebound.